This is Aaron True, MMA Prime TV, here with Mark Hominick. You have a huge fight coming up, that fight for the troops against George Roop. Are you prepared for the fight? 100%. You're eager to get in there. It's Monday, so we're, you know, five, five days out. Just uh, tapering off now, but I'm eager to get in there. He is training elsewhere in Arizona for this fight. Do you think it's a little bit awkward uh, fighting someone you've trained so closely with? You know what? Uh, we put that, you know, he has the same advantages that I, I have. You know, we both train together. So, you know, we're putting it aside. We're friends before, we'll be friends after, but we're both going to go at it in the cages. No, uh, no question, we're competitors. Is it hard to get pumped up or to get going for a fight against someone who's your friend or a former uh, training partner and teammate? Or you take it like any other fight and once the bell rings, you're just going to go in there and handle business? Once the fight was signed, I, I, I just left it at that. You know, it's just the, the same as any other opponent. You know, I don't really go in there all, you know, emotional or anything like that. Like, I, I always go in there with a strategy and I stick to it. So, you know, fighting a teammate, it's not, it's not a... You know, it's not that big of a deal to me. There's a big difference between, you know, a teammate and, you know, a really close friend. Like, we're friends, but we're not, we don't hang out on the weekends or anything like that. We, we've done training camps in the past. How was it decided that you were going to stay with Team Tompkins here at Top Out and that he was going to go to Arizona? Well, I've been with Sean for 12 years. Um, you know, Sean was the best man at my wedding. So there's, you know, the relationship runs, runs pretty deep there. Uh, and George, George, George will come back and train with us after, after the fight. Um, no question there, but you know, it's just, I guess, seniority rules. Uh, I see the monster here, Kevin Randleman. He started uh, helping out Team Tompkins with wrestling recently. How does it help you guys to have someone like Kevin Randleman teaching you guys wrestling? Anytime you can have a legend, you know, in MMA around you, any aspect of the, of the team, it's great. It's great to have someone, you know, for them, I think it, it just it keeps them involved in the sport and hungry. And for, for fighters, you know, they, they've been there for a long time and, you know, they've seen things that, you know, we haven't. So it's, you can always take anything. I always look up to, to any kind of elder I have and I always respect any, any kind of elder that who's been there, even if they're a day older than me. You know, they've been there, there a day longer and, and Kevin's one of those. What does it mean to you to get to fight for Fight for the Troops? It's going to be a huge, great experience for me. Uh, you know, being Canadian, I don't know if I'll be getting booed against the American, but I had a friend uh, from London, Ontario, who I trained with up there, who fought over in Afghanistan uh, for a fight for the troops over there, and he said the troops, they just really appreciated the guys coming out. So I, th I think it's just to be a part of that is pretty something special. This is going to be your first fight back in the UFC since the merger with the WEC. Are you excited to get in the big stage and uh, hopefully progress to the bigger shows? Huge. This is a huge move for the UFC and WC to merge and bringing in the 145ers. You know, I feel I feel proud and I, I want to show why they brought the weight division. You know, to show the excitement, show the speed, show the endurance, show everything that the 145 and 135 pound divisions bring. I fought in UFC at 155 twice. I had two wins there. So you know, I, I fought in the big shows, but it, I think it's even a it's a bigger show than it was back then. I fought at UFC 58. Uh, and the sport has, has grown so much since then even. So, you know, to be a part of the biggest show, the biggest sport in the world is going to be amazing. Give us your prediction. What's going to happen when you throw down with George Roop at the UFC Fight for the Troops? I'm just going to go out there and prove why I'm the number one contender in the division. Do you think after this win that you expect a title shot? You know, I, I, I day no day to announce, announce that. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to think about that the day after the fight. You know, I, I, I'm not looking past George Roop, January 22nd is what I'm feeling. Uh, feeling focused on and that's what I'm ready for. Hopefully there's no accidental friendly fire towards you being Canadian going to fight for the troops. Wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you bring back the victory to Team Tompkins. Best of luck in the future. I appreciate that.